Hi friends, thank you for tuning into my channel today. I really appreciate you all. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. So, for those who do not know me, my name is Snom Shanga. I'm an immigrant nurse living and working in Germany. And in relation to this video, I love traveling. I love eating good food anywhere in the world. So, this video is inspired by... Uh, people who wrote me on Instagram asking me to share any travel tips that I have because they have been following my traveling journey around the world. Um, for your own information, um, my family and I have traveled to 34 countries. If I count in cities, I do not know. I can, we haven't kept a record. And in, um, of 16 of those we have traveled with uh, my son who is just four years old so on this video i'll be sharing with you tips as all well, just general things that you need to take into consideration before you plan a trip when you're already on that trip like just the general information like in a nutshell I hope it's going to inspire you to travel more and please do not be afraid to see the world. There is a lot of things that you haven't seen and the world is waiting for you. So stay tuned. So the first one is your passport. If you intend traveling around the world, like internationally, you definitely need to have a valid passport. Some countries want this passport to have at least six months of validity or to be safe just one year, depending on where you are going to. And then number two, you have to know whether does the destination you wish to visit require a visa then you can go on the country's website, check on the visa requirements, and also on the visas, know how long the visa takes to be processed. Some take even three months, while some take three days. Three, insurance. You need a travel insurance when you are traveling outside your home country or your continent. You do not know what might happen when you're over there. You might, need, you might miss a flight, you might fall sick, all those things so in order to be safe just get covered number four write a packing list you you have to have like everything that you are going to need it's simple and easier if you've got a packing list so that you do not forget the important things when you are going to that destination for example sunscreen some destinations are so hot you might need you might need a sunscreen when you are going there so in order for you not to forget it write it down otherwise you might pay even triple the price that you already know for this bottle of sunscreen I've, the booking how what are you planning for this travel like how do you want your holiday to look like um we personally use a travel agent she helps us like for example if you are going to a destination that we have never been to we use a travel agent they are going to give us the tips for example um there are countries like um czech republic their currency changed a while ago so they will tell you that this money is no longer in use so you have to take note of those things also if you have got connecting flights changing hotels uh, moving uh, around that country to different cities like city hopping i think a travel agent would be the great would be great in doing that for you or you might consider booking things yourself if it's an easier one for example just go on booking.com book your accommodation go on sky scanner you can find your flight and also maybe you might consider things like oh eh, b and b maybe you're going as a big family and you want a lot of space airbnb has got lovely affordable accommodation almost in every part of the world number six cash if it's cheaper to exchange this currency um in your country do so otherwise you can already uh withdraw cash in that destination then your bank card you can take your visa card your normal debit card depending on where you are going to but always remember to inform your bank for example my own bank here 
if I do not inform them, whenever we travel to a country, sometimes they block the card, thinking maybe someone has scammed us. So inform your bank prior to traveling. Number eight, events. Maybe you are traveling to Madrid in Spain and there is a football match over there that you'd like to watch. So you can plan in advance, buy the football ticket over there, or maybe there is a music festival wherever you are going to, you want to attend, so you can already plan in, uh, in advance. Research, just go on Google, you can easily find what's happening in that country or that city wherever you will be going to before you leave it will save you so much money and time and you are medical related things um if you are suffering from a chronic disease for example diabetes take your medication with you like your insulin your tablets and everything and instead of carrying one just carry an extra in case something goes missing and also carry your medication plan with you or even make a photocopy of your hospital record book just in case something happens whilst you are away and when you are going let's say for example by plane do not check this medication in your um in that luggage that will be checked in before um, departure. Instead, put this medication in your hand luggage. You might need it whilst you are on the air and you know some destinations it will take you even 10 hours before you get uh, your medication and budget. This one is so tricky because everyone's budget is different, but I would say, um, a chip from what we usually do we budget for example when we are going somewhere we say maybe a day we are going to be spending 100 euros so if you have a rough idea of how much things cost in your and wherever you are visiting then you can easily budget so guys something happened on earlier this year when we were traveling to spain before we traveled, we got an amazing phone call from Stuttgart Airport. They noticed that mm, this Mshanga family is always up and down at the airport. And guys, they wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one session with us. Just a look at here on the magazine, guys. They featured us in the Stuttgart Airport magazine. Our airport here turned 100 years in june and they saw it fit that this mshanga family has to take the double page because they love traveling a lot and we travel mostly from stuttgart airport how beautiful is this it's like a pinch us moment you know we're so happy like we got amazing gifts from stuttgart airport it was like an um, unbelievable experience. We felt like celebrities when on the day of the shoot, you know, they made us feel so comfortable. And because Stuttgart Airport is a small airport, we'll forever choose it. You know, guys, when you're traveling with kids, sometimes it's so stressful. But anyway, this is it. We are here. Thank you so much, Stuttgart Airport, Germany, for this amazing experience. We will forever be grateful. Level the language. If you are visiting a different city or a different country where they speak a different language from your own home language, I would suggest learn a few words like greeting, like saying thank you, like saying um, how much is this? So those basic things, sometimes um, the locals become more welcoming to you if they see that you're trying to speak their language, although it's difficult. The culture. Research before you travel about the culture of your destination. For example, some countries do not allow people to go, um, a couple go hand in hand. Some people do, uh, some uh, cultures do not allow kissing in public or even dressing, you want to visit a certain church, you are not allowed to go in there wearing a crop top and bum shorts. So research before you go. It's the transport. What transport are you going to use? 
when you are leaving your home country going there are you going to use the rail the road the sea or you're going to fly even when you have arrived at your destination what transport will you be using to move around to see around so you can have an idea maybe some things can be booked online or some things need to be booked in advance. For example, maybe you want to take a private yacht, then you can book this in advance. Or, and also a tip from me will be to consider doing a city hop on hop off tour with the city bus. It's usually affordable and you can cover most of the uh, tourist attractions using the hop on and hop off bus. 14, the excursions. Like, you have visited, for example, you have visited Johannesburg. What are the tourist attractions in Johannesburg that you would wish to see? You wish to see the Nelson Mandela Square. Okay, how far is it from your accommodation? How are you going to get there? Do you, are there any rules? When, is, when are the opening times? So such things research in advance. Number 15, the luggage know what type of flight ticket or you have booked if you are flying to your holiday destination because now it's common that some flights which you see the ticket that it's very cheap if you go down and check online you will notice that our luggage isn't included so buy the luggage allowance before you travel it's cheaper if you buy it at the airport it will be very expensive number 16 social media before you travel this is what i always do i go on social media on facebook on instagram on tiktok and type the destination of where i'm going to if i'm going to bangkok i'll just go and type bangkok it's going to show me reviews uh, also tourist attractions anything that i need to know people who are usually active on face uh, on social media you can just write or maybe anything to just ask about the hotel where you are going to some people are already there they will tell you what's happening at the moment and all that stuff memories before you travel clear all the memory on your phone because girl you're gonna need it to take those beautiful pictures if you're using a camera buy an extra memory card and then for my content creators find out about the rules about the drones because some destinations do not allow drones you know maybe some with some you need to get a license and all that stuff so you do it before you go. Number 18 is the souvenirs. Do not forget to buy any souvenirs before you go to, uh, before you leave going back home. There is always something that will remind you of that beautiful place. Some people buy glasses, some buy t-shirts. So we buy fridge magnets. You know, every time I go into the kitchen, I see on the fridge all the beautiful places that we have been to. Unfortunately, we started collecting this very late, but I'm good. I'm happy and good about the progress so far. Seen tips. Um, if you are staying maybe at a resort or you are eating out or whatever, please just give that um a hotel attendant even one euro just leave for the housekeeping two euros under your pillow I, you know just carry float money it goes a long way and also when it comes to the tips sometimes you just have time to talk to that waiter who is serving you you know some people have got a good sense of humor you can even get some tips about the area from them they'll tell you where to visit what you can see over there so a tip goes a long way number 20 the last one your home do not forget to leave it clean you do not want to come back to a dirty home when you're coming from your vacation you are tired switch off the electrical plugs anything that could be hazardous whilst you are away it might save you a lot of stress afterwards. Then the bonus point, respect. Respect the people who you are traveling with in that mode of transport. Respect the locals. Avoid any criminal activities. 
Just have good manners. You are not in your home. If you do not have good manners, if you are not respectful, <laughs> in some places, be careful. Guys, if you've watched until this point, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. So what's your next travel destination or your dream destination? Just share with me in the comment section below. And if you want to get some tips and ideas of how other some places look like in the world, head over to my Instagram page. I'm trying to upload as much highlights as possible. I know I'm not so fast, but maybe you might find a destination that would uh, attract you and do not hesitate to visit. Hello, you need a break after working so hard. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.